And Governor Scott Walker says that he's looking forward to bringing lawmakers together for this so-called beer and brat summit tomorrow. He's following through on a recall election night promise to try to bring people together. To the extent that we can renew some of that bonds of friendship that we've had in the past, certainly having a brat and a burger and a beer is a good way to start it out. It won't be the last thing, but it's certainly a good way to start. He made those comments today in La Crosse while touring Gunderson Lutheran Health System. He also said he hopes this will restore some civility at the Capitol. However, we've learned that not all lawmakers are accepting the governor's invitation. Our campaign 2012 coverage now. Political reporter Jessica Arp tells us who's taking a pass on the picnic. Well, the governor's office says 98 of the state's 132 lawmakers will attend tomorrow. And while the reasons for those RSVPing no vary, some say they simply don't get the goal of the grilling. The remnants of revolt remain in some Democratic state capitol windows. And despite a new effort to dissolve the friction, some lawmakers aren't joining in. No disrespect to the governor, but I, I, we don't need to have a brat and a beer to do our job. State Senator John Erpenbach, one of a few lawmakers vocally turning down the governor's invitation to a beer and brat summit at the executive residence, joining Democrats Mark Pocan and Kel DeRoys and even Republican Steve Noss in skipping the event. I don't know why we need to do it. We all know each other, and, and believe it or not, we get along more than we don't, um, except when we talk about issues we really care about. But in the end, it's, you know, I'm not certain what the point of all of it is. It's pretty hard when people have been yelling and screaming at each other to just start right away and negotiate on some sort of a serious topic. Sometimes you need an icebreaker. State Representative Robin Voss, who won't attend because of a prior engagement, says he would be there if he could because the event has the right sentiment. Having some symbolic things like this where Governor Walker, I think, is sincerely reaching out, saying let's just get together, let's start in a way that brings people together over something that's innocuous so you can get together over things that are more serious. So will brats really bring people together? I think if you expect miracles, you're asking a little too much. Yeah, you know, the, the old line is politics ain't beanbag. This is a contact sport and it's the NFL. And you don't expect that these things are going to suddenly produce dramatic changes. But on the other hand, after such an intense period, maybe anything that lowers the tensions a little bit would be a move in a positive direction. Now, while Pocan and Royce both said today they thought the event was a photo op, Nas's reason for declining was because of comments by Democrats at their party convention over the weekend, saying the governor was, quote, arrogant or, quote, would end up in a jail cell before the end of his first term. Nas said in a statement that he was standing up to bullies by not going. I guess it's certainly not a photo op because no media is invited, right? Well, that's right. The Despite a likely quorum of lawmakers that will be in attendance at this event, a spokesman for the governor says that given that no official business will be discussed, it is not subject to the state's open meetings laws. All right, political reporter Jessica Arp. Jess, thanks.